hello everyone welcome to my channel my tech notes so this video is about um, most frequently asked questions from collection framework in java and it's a part 2 um, i have already shared part 1 in my previous videos uh, so part 2 is part 1 was about what is collection framework what is the hierarchy of collection um, what is a map what is a set what is a list right and what all classes and interfaces are there so that was that uh, questions related to uh, uh, what is the collection framework basically are uh, were in uh, part 1 ok and now in part 2 uh, I'll be covering questions that are very tricky and um, those are basically related to difference like diff what is the difference between array list and vector collection and collections difference between list and set list and map so these kind of questions that make you confused little bit confused at the time of interview so let's get started so first of all what is the difference between array and collections so it's a very basic question and anybody can ask you uh, I mean you can expect this question in your uh, during your interviews of Java so array is um, as we already know that array arrays have fixed size while collections are scalable so what does that mean that uh, in arrays if you want to make it larger you have to extend its size right while in collection the object keeps coming and its size keeps on growing based on the requirement second is arrays are best performing rather than collection array supports on homogeneous elements while collection can have um, same or different type of components in it arrays does not have any inbuilt functions ok if you want to perform sorting addition removal anything manipulation <coughs> then you have to implement the feature by yourself when collection it comes up with all most of the built-in functions and you don't need to do anything you just have to use know how to use those functions arrays can store objects and primitives while collection can only store object types so this is the difference between collection and array okay, coming to next question What is the difference between collection and collections? So, as we already know, collection is an interface while collections is a framework. Okay, sorry. Collection is an interface that is extended by list, set, queue interfaces, classes, and subclasses that implement list, set, and queue interface also implement collection interface indirectly. Package in collections. Collection mm, is used to store objects in collection, while collections utility package is used to perform operations on the collection of objects. Collection comes up with the methods like add, remove, size, contains. It comes up with basically manipulation methods, right? While collections comes up with sort, min, max kind of methods. Okay, you don't need to implement any of them. Okay. Mm, other tricky question that you can be uh, that can be asked is uh, what is the difference between array list and linked list? Okay, so array list implements list interface. List linked list implements list and DQ interface. Okay, as we al already know, DQ extends the list interface. Array list is dynamic array which allows storage of any type of objects. While linked list uh, it's a double linked list that allows storage of any type of object from any from either of the side of the array okay the list data manipulation in array list takes longer time uh, while data manipulation in linked list is faster because it does not have any concept of shifting memory bits or after addition and removal of data array list is useful if application requires data storage and access while things is, is useful an application need to do a lot of manipulation okay so that's the main difference between array list and linked list so both of the array list link
linked list and array list both of them have their own pros and cons next is what is the difference between a vector and array list so one of the major difference between vector and array list is vector is synchronized where array list is non synchronized vector is slow because it is synchronized while array list is fast because it is non synchronized what do we mean by synchronized and non synchronized that only one thread can change data at a time in vector while in array multiple threads can work on a single object okay vector uh, can traverse through the elements using enumeration and iterator while array list can only use iterator vector can increase its size by 100% if it is required while array list can increase its size by 50% if it is required so this is the difference between vector and array list now next is what is the difference between list and set next is what is the difference between list and set list is a order collection or interface while set is an unordered collection interface both of the both are interfaces both extends collection interface okay but still they have differences like list is an ordered collection set is an unordered collection list allows duplicate values while set does not allow duplicate values list allows multiple null values while set does not allow multiple null values it allows only one null value elements can be accessed based on their position in list as it maintains insertion order while in set elements there is no insertion order it does not maintain any order in the set okay one of the most asked question is what is the difference between iterator and enumeration although we don't use enumeration that much but still this question can be asked iterator works with almost all of the collections because it works with the new collection hierarchy okay while enumeration works with legacy collections like hash table and vector iterator can perform operations like remove while traversing the collection enumeration is a read only iterator so it cannot make any changes while it is reading data from a collection iterator has um, remove method enumeration does not have any remove method because it is a read only iterator iterator can be applied on set classes set list and map classes while enumeration can only be applied on hash table and vector so we can see that these are the major differences between iterator and enumeration next is um, what's the difference between hash set and hash map hash set implements set interface while hash map implements map interface hash set does not allow duplicate values while hash map allow duplicate values uh, while hash map does not allow duplicate keys but two unique keys can have a same value hash set allows only one object to be added while in hash map we have to add two objects as key and value pair hash set has add method while uh, hash map has put key value method in it to add any object in it next is what is the difference between comparable and comparator as we already know that comparable is a part of java.lang package comparator is a part of java.util package comparable have an impact on has an impact on original class while comparator does not impact original class comparable comes up with a method compare to with one object argument while comparator comes up with compare method so it it comparable support single sorting sequence like uh, an object can be sorted based on only one element while comparator supports multiple sorting sequence okay so where do we use it basically so using collections dot sort the this list this list is of type uh, the object that we add in the list should implement comparable interface right so mm, collection dot sort list can sort objects of comparable comparable type only 
while here in case of comparator collection dot sort it can sort objects of comparator type only okay so that's the difference between comparable and comparator next is, next is what is the difference between hash set and preset hash set implement set interface while preset implement sorted set interface hash set does not allows null object while hash set does not preset does not allow null object mm, hash set does not allow duplicate values the object that we have to add in hash set should it should override equals method uh, equals and hash code method in it okay preset does not allow duplicate values it uses compare method to compare two objects so that they it does not check if they duplicate or not okay hash set does not maintain any insertion order while tree set maintains insertion order so these are the mis basic major difference between hash set and tree set now coming to last question this what is the difference between set and map both are interfaces set extends collection interface while map does not extend collection interface we know it is set does not allow duplicate value map does not allow duplicate keys okay but duplicate values can be possible set allows a null object while map does not allow null keys so these are the mm, difference between major difference between set and map so as you can see so these are the questions that can be asked during collection interview java collections interview okay so uh, you can visit part 1 to un understand about collections like what is collection what is collections framework what is a hierarchy what is a list interface set interface map interface okay why map does not inter uh, extend collection interface okay so these kind of questions are been covered in part 1 and this part 2 is all about major differences between the interfaces and classes okay so that is it from collections um that is it from the collections framework interview questions okay if you like this video then please click on like button you can message me in comment box if you want me to cover um, some particular topics I'll be posting new videos in coming weeks. Until then, take care. Bye bye.